This is a radio that was sent to me by Guo Hedic. This is an HF, VHF, UHF radio from China, the PMR-171. It does a bunch of things. We're going to unbox it real quick, and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. All right, thank you for joining the channel today. I've got this radio right here that was graciously sent to me by the company who makes it. The link is in the description below. You can buy it directly from AliExpress. I wish they would sell it on more places besides that, but sidestep that one for just a moment. Here's the front of it. We're gonna power it up here in a minute. This is the back of it, and it's got these clips on it right here for something that goes on the back of it. This is what the box looks like. Now, this is as wide out as I can zoom my camera right now because the tripod mount that I've got this camera on is too long. I need to get one shorter that's raised up higher. But, and I'm working on that. I actually just ordered one. So today we're just gonna have to, you're gonna have to bear with me. There's a USB A to C cable right there. This is the box that it comes in. This part right here is, oh, that's a microphone. Okay, we're gonna, I'll probably just leave that in the box for the moment take all this stuff out, show you what it is, and then put it all on the table and be able to look at it a lot better. This is a, oh, that's the power supply, okay. Not sure if it has an internal battery, I don't recall. I think the part that straps to the back might be a battery, I think, but let's find out. I, I just got this the other day, so I haven't had a chance to do anything with it yet. Yeah, this is, whoa. So this is, you see this right here? This straps to those clips in the back. This is a battery, and you can tell by the weight of it, so we'll get to that in a second, and then power cable of some sort there another USB cable another power cable okay all right this is everything that came in the box again this is a charger for the battery this is a battery here a bunch of cables and a microphone Let's set the microphone aside oh yeah also this came in the box this is an antenna so I guess you can carry it like a man pack or something presumably that's a VHF UHF antenna it's got an SMA on the bottom of it right there so let's put this together and see what it looks like Okay, before we put the battery on, I wanted to show you a close-up of the radio. This is the back of the radio. That's the battery there. It connects right here, which begs the question of how do you connect to these things? So typically, these, these green ports on the back of a computer is a speaker port, and then those might be a microphone port. I don't know. It's going to say in the manual. Actually, it didn't come with the manual. I think the manual is online. I'll find the manual and link it, but there is no paper manual that came in this box. So I always get comments about, well, you should check the manual before you go live, before you record the video. Yeah, maybe, but I like to see how intuitive it is. Tell you what, you do your video and I'll do mine. So that looks like a power port there, USB-A, USB-C. Okay, so this is going to clip in right there and clip to the side there, to each side. That's gonna be the battery. Let's show you what this looks like first. That's the front of the radio, upside down. Yeah. So obviously that's the microphone port. This is gonna be the VFO knob, presumably. And it's got two antenna ports on the top. You, you can see right there, that's from 74 to 520 megahertz. So it'll cover two meters, 220. I don't know if it goes to 220 or not. And that's kind of what the port indicates. Okay, so there's that BNC connector, good. There's this, another BNC connector. And uh, that one says 0 0.1 to 74 megahertz. So that's your HF antenna, obviously. And then this one right here, that's a little SMA connector. It's hard to reach with this, this port right here on it. Okay, finally, sheesh, that thing's too close to this little uh, side wing thing here. To, and it's not marked, I don't, so I don't know what that is. We're gonna have to look that up in the manual. Oh, wait a minute, there it is right there. It's marked right there. GPS, okay, so it's got a GPS antenna. I kind of thought that's what it was, but I don't know. Okay, so GPS antenna there. That's the whole thing. Let's put this together, power it up, and see what it looks like. Okay, I went ahead and Googled it, and I found the manual. So we're going to go through this manual real quick. I'm not going to read this whole manual to you guys. I will link this. This is a PDF file. I'll link it in the description below. You can go read up on it yourself. It says it is a HFCB, okay, 50 megahertz, 70 megahertz, so it'll do 4 meters, presumably, for you, those of you uh, over uh, across the pond. Uh, VHF, UHF, full mode STR radio, PMR 171. And this is what the front control panel looks like. Power supply, switch, standing cable wires, band selection. That's what these buttons here do. It's got a full explanation of what it's going to do there. Here's the, oh, that looks like a Yezu microphone. Okay, so you can do different things on the microphone. There's what the SDR main interface screen looks like. We're gonna see if it looks that pretty here. I'm gonna power it up for you here in just a second. Mainframe, M-I-A-N frame, misspelled mainframe. Not like a computer mainframe. <laughs> okay, battery, that's the battery on the back. Okay, good. 
charger interface. Okay, so this is what I wanted to see. Okay, so battery connector is one is a battery connector. Yeah, so that's looking at it the other direction from where we looked at it. So flip it around 180 degrees is how we just looked at it. That's the battery connection there. The DC power connector there, that's for this guy right here. This is the uh, AC to DC power cable that comes with the unit. Okay, so you can power it, I guess, without a battery. I wonder if it would cause any RFI or like uh, AC hum or anything like that. Hopefully not, but... And I wonder if it says, it doesn't say on the radio itself, but maybe it says in the manual later. Maybe it says right here. The power supply must be able to supply 6 amps at 13.8 to 15 volts. So it's a 6 amp, 13.8 to 15 volt. That's kind of narrow. I was hoping it'd be like 9 to 15 volts, but that's okay. So I guess if you had a power supply, like a direct DC, technically I guess you just plug that into a... 12 volt like a bioeno or something with the cor with the correct connector because it can supply six amps the voltage will be right assuming your battery's charged up okay all right anyway so that's the dc power connector three is the usb a uh, port right there host usb ports it is used for former upgrades connecting peripheral smart devices perhaps a keyboard such as external wave wheels keyboards usb sticks it is not used to charge the external devices, so it won't charge from the USB-A port. Okay, okay. Five is the USB-C port for USB cable connector to the computer, output audio, digital IQ signals. Uh, this six should be on the next line, but it's not. Okay, audio output interface is six. Looking at this, yes, audio out. That's one of the green jacks on the back of it. Okay, so six and seven are green jacks, which is right here. Six is an audio output interface, demodulated audio output for connecting external audio devices, a speaker uh, perhaps. Seven is an ACC device, PTT control signal output for controlling external amplifiers and other equipment. Eight is an RS-232 port. That's uh, that guy there. It's a 3.5 millimeter RS-232. Okay. And nine is electronic keyer. So that's your nine is your 3.5 millimeter keyer jack, uh, CW key jack. And then 10 is an ethernet port, of course. Oh, there it is. Okay, network port. Number 10 should be on its own line, but that's okay. Network port reserved, non-functional. So it's got a network port on it. Actually, mine doesn't even have a network port on it. It's covered up by a sticker. Here's what it looks like right there as we just read it. So that's there's an Ethernet. You can If you put your finger over that right there, you can kind of see there's an Ethernet port there that's covered up by a sticker. RS-232, CW key, audio output, uh, ACC for, uh, for an amplifier, CA power supply, and battery that's what that is right there good oh it's got the pin out for your cw key audio af settings a bunch of other stuff like that okay i don't want to read the whole manual to you guys it's uh 42 pages long so i again i will link it in the description below you guys can go check out the um the manual itself and and read through whatever parts of it you want i'm going to put this battery on and power it up and see what see what it looks like there what i had to do was i had to pull down on this pretty hard oh no i'm sorry the other side this side pull up on it till it snaps feels like you're gonna break it but it's it's probably fine this one's got a uh there's a little port right there underneath this one actually that's probably the battery charger for when the battery's connected to the radio you can plug in this guy i can't get this thing to come up like this this part comes up it should release this right here like it does over here here's how it works on there okay so you push this one up here this part and then this one should come off like that but it's really tight over here on this one this is brand new, so maybe it's just, just got to work it a little bit. All right, well, I'll have to fiddle with that later. What I can do for now, put that like that. That part, okay. Now if I could get this side to do it. I wonder if I should pry it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I had to pry it. Okay, so now this guy here, this is, your, this is your charging port for the battery when it's on, well, probably when it's off or on the radio. You take it off the radio, you're probably going to still charge it from that same port. There was not another port on the inside of it, so... There we go. All right, so that going to latch there. I mean, those latches are really strong. That It feels really sturdy now that it's latched together, so that's great. But hopefully they loosen up over time because that was really hard to work with. All right, and we're going to power it on and see what it looks like. Okay, so here it is right here. This is the power button right here at the top of this part. A little bit better shot on the antenna ports on the top. So, yeah, this thing, this thing could totally go in a man pack. And if it was, you know, like even a, a tech prepper style pack or some kind of pack like that, I've got another pack I'm looking at to put my IC7000 in. I might try to do something like that. I do like these uh, these wings on it here that seem to protect it. This right here and this right here. Those are kind of neat. 
it sits on the battery, you can set it on the desk like that or something. I'm gonna turn the lighting on the camera down a bit, make it darker because the screen is so washed out. Okay, so you can see there's backlighting on these keys here and these keys there. Okay, and it says confirm activation. Is it touch screen? No. Okay, so where's the uh, yes button? <laughs> okay, so the, the arrow buttons act as uh, up and down. I got yes highlighted and there we go. 21074, which of course is the 15 meter FT8 frequency. I don't have an antenna hooked up right now, so, but that's what the screen looks like. That's pretty, pretty, pretty. Do you see how the two is highlight, uh, the two is green right now, and the 1.074.000 is white? Presumably, I've got the, the space for the two. That's why when I turn the button, it changes that one. So let's try to, there we go. Okay, there we go right there. Okay, so you see this birdie in the middle right there? And then this one over to the right of it, right there. Those are not moving when I move the dial. So that's not that's not good. Okay, let's change bands. Uh, this is a band button here. Let's go to CB. Okay, 28, uh, 2607. Okay, yeah. CW, and it's on, I assume that's the mode there. Let's see, mode is here. Okay, now it's on AM. Right here. It says AM. Before that, it was CWR mode. Narrow FM. RTU. SDR. That's a mode. Okay. DMR. Yeah, I read it did DMR. That's funny. Upper sideband. CWR. Okay. So we can do some CW on 11 meters. Maybe I get side boom. I wonder if side boom knows 11 meters. Or knows CW, rather. Moving on. All right, so let's go let's go back up to band, and I'm going to go to two meters. All right, and that's upper side band. Now, okay, you see those birdies are still there, right there in the middle, right there, and then there's a wide one there. So I, uh, you know what, let's do five, two, five, yeah, see those birdies are still in the same place. That's, uh, that's, that's not what you want to see. All right, so I'm going to pause the, the camera for a second. I'm going to go get my HT, or we're going to let it receive. Okay, I got my HT here. One thing I also noticed when I was going into the bands here, uh, let's press that again. It does not have 220. It goes from CB to 2 meters to 440 to 74. 74 megahertz? I don't know what that is. 70 megahertz, but isn't that... Oh, okay, It's for some reason it put... I would have put 70 between... 50 and CB. Actually, I, you should put CB down here. These are out of order as far as frequencies goes. It should be 24, which is 12 meters, it, and then it should be CB for 11 meters, and then 10 meters, and then 6 meters, and then 74 should be here. But whatever, it's fine. They're labeled properly, so that's good. That's, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Okay, so let's find 146.520, KC5HWB test, 1-2. Okay, okay, I'm on upper sideband, so let's switch the mode. Narrow FM. Where's the squelch on it? Okay, let's go to menu. Okay, long press the menu, you get to this. It's got APRS on it. Wow, that's kind of neat. So there's DMR, and there you can set your DMR settings. Time slot, talk group, transmit and receive tone. Interesting, okay. Long press the menu to get back out of it, okay. Bandwidth right there, PTT. So I don't see a button for squelch or volume. Tune, okay, it's got a tune button. Maybe a tuner. DSP, okay, adjustable DSP, okay. Good. All right, let's go to mode. SDR, DMR, upper sideband, CW. KC5 HWB test. KC5 HWB testing, one, two, three, four, five. KC5 HWB test. Okay, so I'm not sure how much of that you can hear in the in the microphone, but it sounds like it's off frequency. Um, it could be because it is on narrow FM, so I wonder if I long press. I bet I, I, bet I long press it. Let's do this. Wide FM, there we go. KC5 HWB testing on 6.52. KC5 HWB testing on 6.52. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, testing a new radio. Sounds like the speaker's inside of the radio, so it's hard to hear. I guess that's what the um, the external port, but how do you get, if your battery is attached back here, 
in the bottom picture on the video right now, how do you plug in an external speaker? It's a bit odd. There's not a port in here or something to run a wire to. So that's a little odd as well. Okay. So this is the preliminary. I wanted to do, they wanted me to do an unboxing. Again, they sent this to me. Okay. They sent me an email. They're like, do you want to review this radio? And I said, yes, please. I always want to review new radios. This is very fun. And they wanted feedback. So I'm going to be sending this video to them. And I'll probably share it out to you guys shortly after that. Lots of video possibilities here. I'd like to do a whole video on, I'd like to take it out to POTA and do a video. I'd like to do a whole video on DMR and a whole video on APRS to see how those work. The manual probably tells you how to get to the squelch and the volume. I'm not so worried about that. It's just not obvious on the, on the front panel here how to get to those things. There's only the one knob and it's the VFO knob. So, but that is it. That's the preliminary. That's the unboxing they wanted me to do. That's the going through the menus and seeing everything. We are going to do more videos with this. I might do a live stream with it. We'll see. Let me know what you would like to see about this radio. What questions you have, put a comment below. Thanks.